Hi guys, this is Viper back with more Wasteland 2. So I have my team sorted. So we have me, of course. Hopefully I don't get killed in the game. We have Cherry Bomb, which is our demolition. We have Pills, who is our medic, of course. And we have Bear, who is our hunter. I've just changed the picture. So, uh, the picture, I just didn't like the picture, <laughs> basically. But no worries. So each one has different weapons. We have Cherry Bomb, I believe, with a shotgun. Bear with an assault rifle and pills with a pistol because she's our medic. She's going to stay out the way anyway, hopefully. And then we have me, who is the sniper. So let's get into the game. Like I said, early beta. So things are still being added and taken away. I like these early access games on Steam. So here we are. And it says, so here's the description of the guy. I'm not going to read it. So. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party. You hardly knew the man. Appropriate too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a desert ranger. So when he was talking, you see like the word Ace and Duty. You can actually type that in down the bottom here. See. And anything you type in here, so I type in Ace. Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been given us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. And this would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. But sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower. And his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. So we've got the logbook. You know his logbook wasn't actually in the list down here. So you read it if it's yellow or red you can actually write it in. Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us. Here I am sending you on a mission that already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option, but the desert rangers are spread a little thin right now. There are no more experienced hands to spare. The next generation is gonna have to lead the charge. The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers, specifically. It said it was coming for us. When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. The mission is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you can find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Now, I know you're going to be tempted to hunt for Ace's murderers along the way, and if you find them, good. But your priority, however, is finding that signal. Vengeance for Ace's death is not as important as assessing this threat to our security. It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. So basically we've got to go here, the radio tower. There you go. Yes, call in on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. I'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions. And sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we open for business. Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, you aren't cut out to be a Desert Ranger. We won't let you in. So these are some of the things you pick when you create your character. You have Hard Ass. I said it says level 0 required. Kiss ass or smart ass. And like I said, you get some of these throughout the game. And like I said, it will make things like easier or difficult for you. Some people will fight, some people won't, I'm assuming. But uh, we'll go with smart ass. <laughs> 
some folks minds and you can catch people that lies that way but sometimes it makes them mad so be careful in this case you're right i should let you in but i got a feeling about you fool. you got depths you don't even know you have it's going to take adversity to tap them so i'm sending you out under gunned and unprepared just to see what it brings out of you you'll thank me later uh, maybe all right goodbye good luck out there recruits so over here we have our little tutorial little thing tells you about different things and we have our journal keywords which I just went through and we can pick this up the viper's going to pick this up which is a shovel which doesn't seem very interesting but there are things you can actually dig up to get loot and bits and pieces if you can find it grab all these grab all these guys and we'll go Let's say I, I don't know if I can dig that up or not I say basically you can add the shovel down here and they've got some cigarettes so I'll put my character smoke since he's got a giant cigar in his mouth let's see it let me I don't know guess not <laughs> Sometimes there's areas you can dig up. I'm sure there's an area around here. Like I said, I could be completely wrong. You might be able to do it later on. I don't know. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Right. We can't go in there yet. Because that's the area you said we can't go in. Can't open it yet. I said I have played an hour of this. And I mean only an hour. I'm not entirely sure on everything, but like I said, you, it says it's locked for now, so I'm assuming you can go in it later. What's in it, I don't know. Um, this is the shop, which is absolutely awesome. And like I said, trades needs outfit us. And bits and pieces, goodies. It's Asking a story, you can trade, like I said, and this is where you get all your ammo. We get rid of these messages. My training. Oh, yes, do me head in. So this is where you get all your lovely ammo. And some guns by those of things, that's pretty cool. I didn't know we had a gun here. So it's a uh This piece we can get bulletproof vests, some more cigarettes, a knife, energy cells, goat hide. Grenade. So there's quite a lot of stuff here. Well, we've only got like 50 money, which is scrap in the game. I don't know how that works in the game, and I'm not questioning it. Right, so we're not going to buy anything because I haven't really got the money to buy anything. So you can press here and sell all junk. Let's go through all the characters. And that's like everything what everybody's got. I just wondered why they're separate. I guess you can hold 40 at a time. It's fine. So we're going to leave here because not really not much to say. And there's some random people. I'm assuming they're random people. I don't know who they are. They can't really say anything. It, unless they got like a speech thing or an icon on their head. They don't really say anything. So we'll head down here. So we've got this woman here. Well, she ain't got a thing above her head. I thought she did. Make sure you speak to her. Because she's a free recruit. We, come on. Basically, she's an NCP character. Um, if you've got a high enough leadership, you can actually control her. If not, uh, eh, not to worry. But we can talk to her. Oh, it's babies. That's the babies. Yeah, right. So, if you notice, she doesn't talk. So, so she's on about uh, people who uh, was with her when she first started out. She's quite a high-level character. 
So you can uh, talk to her for a bit about all the different people. So, trouble. So there's so much to talk about. So there is, I'm not going to read it all, like I said. Uh, that's why I'm clicking pretty slow so you can pause it and uh, whatnot. So there's a lot she goes on. So I mean... Red Scorpions. Red Scorpions are supposed to be another gang I think she goes on about. Like a private sector gang, I believe. Goodbye, let me say goodbye to her. And then she'd say, uh, want me to lend a hand? Yes. It's a definite yes. She comes with a, like an M1. She's got Outdoorsman, which is awesome. Which is, if you're out on the world map, you can miss battle to be check. Then we can check her skills or not. Uh, no, just inventory. We've got faded letters and bits and pieces. But if you take a look at her health compared to ours, she's on 91. So, 20s. <laughs> So she's an overpowered character. If you miss her, you're going to regret it, basically. Well, something could be buried here. Yeah. Oh, there's some buried somewhere. Do you look? And we got a faded poet. Oh, well, we might be able to sell it for five, so that's alright. So let's go. And we'll see if we can get going. If there's anything else. As far as I know, there's nothing else around here. I could be completely wrong. I said I'm not very far into the game. I said. In fact, my first time messed about and ended up getting killed because I went to the wrong area. Which is my bad. We'll load up to the uh, map. Here we go. If that sound to clear. Thank you. Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. No, go away. Roger, Echo One. Just making sure your radio is working. I'll be your dispatcher from here on out. I also wanted to give you a little heads up on your water situation. If you've all got full canteens, you should have enough water to reach the place where Ace died with plenty to spare. Uh, if you're going to go exploring, you'll want to fill up again at any oasis you can find. So basically, this here is your water. It says 60. It takes so much to move. Until now, Woodson's been our dispatcher. But he's his death made me realize that I've spent too many years in my office, walled off from the world, how it's changed. I need to know what's going on out there. I figure the best way to do that is to start listening to the people's problems. So, I've decided that from now on, I'll be the one fielding calls and talking in your ear when you head out into the waste. Don't let that make you self-conscious or nothing. Fair enough, you'll nag it us then. It is vital that all teams stay in radio contact with me here at the base. We get distress calls from all over our jurisdiction and sometimes beyond. Towns or farms or mines being attacked by raiders, mutant beasts, what have you. We field those calls here and then dispatch whichever team is closest to the problem. Can you get a Roger out? 10 4 Echo 1, carry on. Ranger Command out. So basically, like I said, you press and the water goes down. It tells you here how much it's going to cost. We view the map. So this is where we are and that's where we got to go. There are borders in the game, which we'll show you. Well, I'll show you on, on, on our travels. There's random encounters as well, which we have to be careful about. So we head up here. That's I didn't know what I was doing and end up dying. And as you can hear, 
We've got like a little Geiger counter here. And this green area here is actually like the border. If we bring up a map, you'll see like the radiation. And if you go past that early on, you're going to get killed by raiders because they're pretty tough. So let's not go that way. And it's not the right way we got to go anyway, so... I'll go this way. And we've got a random oasis. Well, it's not random, it's put there, but you know what I mean. Random in the case it's in the middle of nowhere. 75 water, fill it up, bump. So, that's the guy counter down there. I don't know if we'll hit a random encounter or go straight into where we need to go, the radio tower. Straight across this way. With the big X. <laughs> So here we go. And confirm. So here we are. This is where Ace got killed, so... Roger that, Echo One. When you reach the area where Ace's body was found, give it a good going over. Folks that picked him up said it looked like he crawled there. Maybe you can find some tracks leading to where he was attached. Copy? 10-4 Echo One and check in immediately with any new info. Those repeater units are a top priority. Ranger Command out. So now we're in a new area. As you can see this is where we were shot or died. There's a blood trail. You see we've got something shining over here, which is a bronze star, which we'll take. We can examine. So, oh, I said we take. And we get some experience. You can see these are our experience. Ours is going up, we've noticed hers isn't. Or it is, but very little because she's on a higher level. Now we've got two paths to go. We've got down here. Or up here, we're going to go down here first, just because. And we got some lovely dead people here. Couldn't pay, so these pretty much got killed by raiders. So it's not the way we're supposed to go, the blood trail goes up this way, but... It's one of these games where it's also best to, like, think... One thing is be careful because these guys do move around, they will attack you first, so we press on me, attack, and we can pick a target. So I'm a sniper. There is cover at a system in the game. I don't think I can hit him. Oh. We'll come back to these guys actually. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Let's follow the blood. Let's stay on trail for, for now. We'll come back. We're going to kill them. I guarantee it. Uh, go this way. So don't go too far ahead here. Okay. Because I said, oh, I need to separate if I can. No I want to separate one person. Go on, off click, off click. Ah I can't figure out how to separate my squad. No worries. I'll stand them here. Walk them in. So we've got some dogs. I wanted to separate them, there should be a way. So okay, just make sure you know who you've got and what weapons they've got basically. Because pills here. Pills, 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 this one. Even she's got a pistol, so I want her back. There is friendly fire in the game, so be warned. Spaced out a bit. 
I don't want Viper to go too far ahead because he's got a sniper. So here we go. So it requires certain skills because I believe she's got it. Say goodbye. And it's like encounter anyway. No matter what you do. Ow. You shot me. So pills will go first. And you missed. There you go. Not enough. Uh, AP. Basically, AP is your movements. I could move her, but I'm not going to. Whatever you save here will add on to next turn, which is awesome. I'm going to take out these dogs. So be careful of friendly fire. There we go. So. 44% chance to hit, which I don't like. You can set the fire mode down here. Oh, it's got a hunting rifle. I didn't realise you had a hunting rifle. I didn't realise you was a... Uh... That's me, sorry. Hunting rifle, yeah. I ain't got any AP. Oh, I've got enough AP left. I get my characters mixed up now, sorry. I'm going to die. Thing is, with me, I've got a hell of a... Oh, not enough. In turn, I didn't realise shotguns be careful with. Shotguns are very lethal. They, uh, you see it just in the top corner. You can see like a aim part. Anything in that range, they will probably get hit, even your own teammates. So what I might do is actually pull her back to here. So I get my characters mixed up now. My bad. I didn't realise the range of her gun, like I said, out of range. And give him a chance. He's a melee, so it's not too bad. Some characters can book it, as you can see. We've got another guy at the top there who I didn't see, which is my bad. I should have a look on the list over here. But it's not too worry. So, here she is. Like I said, it's her weapon that's thrown me off. It It's pretty good, actually. We're going to go to me, because I want the, some kills. Uh, my damage is 4 to 8, 4 to 8, it takes me 5 AP, so I can do 2 shots at 100%. Oh no, that's her still, ah! Well, pressed on me, I'm next. <laughs> End turn, there you go, plus 1, because I had some. Uh, so it's 7 AP to shoot. And it could instant kill. And I missed. Ah, oh, you're joking. Maybe if don't. So I'm trying to save ammo, that's why I'm not. Here we go for the sniper, like I said. It's anything in that range would get hit. Then we get. Experience. And total experience party gained. And that's it, now I'm leveled up. So we'll regroup everybody. And then we can loot. So each person can carry different types of ammunition, pretty much, for what they need. So there's no point giving someone the ammo if they don't use it. Take all, take all. We can sort it out in a minute. So let's have a look. So she uses a shotgun, so she's not going to want that. I'm not going to want that. I think it's pistol ammo, so we'll drop it off to the pistol. There you go. Give it all. There you go. Any loot or anything like that will glow white on the ground. So you know you can pick it up or not. So we've got like a little white thing sparkling. We've got some log port, log pages. So log report basically, which was aces. Um, my guy's stuck there. Get up here. Now over here. Okay. I got this machine here, which is damage. We could try and repair it if we've got the skills. Uh, gets into me. Um, critical failure means we'll mess it up. So I'm just going to save it. Uh, not bad as my, my like early saves. Uh, I'm just going to overwrite that one because, like I said, it's just me messing about. There you go. Return. Let's 
try and fix it. So it says success. There you go. Don't know what it does, but we fixed it. Anyway, it's way. Oh, there we go. I'll take it he's not a fan then but what I'm doing over here is actually because I've played this a little bit before as you as I said I can sneak attack and if I get right here fire <laughs> dead before he knows it okay whose turn is it is it me it is me so Go and turn. Uh, I didn't want you to do that, but we'll take all and then get behind the cover. See, so lost control because we haven't got a high enough leadership and whatnot. I'm out of range, and it takes how many to fire? You gonna tell me? Seven AP. So move three spaces. Is that that range? So in turn, and you're out of range as well. And it takes how many to fire? Seven again. So you can move you up about three. Hopefully you've got range. Yes, you have. Lovely done. Means more loot for her. So she went berserk because she pretty much thought these guys killed Ace. Question is, did they? Or did they just let them die? Or what not? Who knows? So basically we got some loot. We've got deck of cards and a medical pack which goes to our medic and some ammo which also goes to our medic it is best to check most places just in case there's loot anywhere or bits and pieces because like I was saying ammo is tight in the game as you see I've got junk but there's no ammo I could have came up here and snipe them from up here, that would have been a better option. A couple of long range people could have sorted them out easy. I can't even tell you what difficulty I'm playing the game on because I didn't look. It could be on easy, it could be a normal, I don't know. But no worries. We will scout around and get some supplies. One crate. So we have some more medicine and a nose ring so she can take them each time you play you never know what you're gonna get loot wise I guess I can't go up there that's fine it is randomized that way which is rather annoying we've got a area to go in over here Basically we've got all that black oil stuff. Okay. That there, oh you gotta make sure you reload. I forgot to reload everybody. My bad. Make sure you reload after every battle. And be careful of some of these. these are awful they're not difficult to kill they're just awful because they will swallow your weapons oh 
Oh yes, dead before you can do it. That's how I like it. Frog legs, fly wings, and a members only jacket. Basically junk. Uh, some more pills. We're doing well on pills. It's not very good on anything else. Let's, when I played this last time, I said I got some really cool stuff out of these crates and bits and pieces. There's a repeater unit. Uh, also got a rail no man camp at the top there to go to. And some more reports. But now when I played it last time I actually got a, another sniper rifle, um, some energy cells and all bits and pieces like that. So these bars are nearly filled. So let's leave here. Right, and let's go back to our lovely blood trail. Well, our oil trail as you can see here. Not quite blood. There you go. It's a metal leg. There we go. And I've leveled up. You can see it's kind of mixed. It's like they hit it off over here. So you got like a robot and aces. Blood all mixed together there. There are some other areas to check out here. I think that's a crate there, isn't it? Ooh, ooh! Now this is where I, this is money. So seventeen money, and we got a pistol, which will be worth looking at for our doctor. Quite good. There is another location you can actually go in if I can find it. Here we go. Here, and we got another crate here. Grenade and some more money. I said I don't understand the money on this scrap anyway. I said you would think it'd be the most common stuff around. I um, said so I want to check that out with. I didn't want to drop it. Be back up. Give it to Doc Hills. There you go. Hills. Here we go. Now, is it better? So it does more damage, uses the same amount of ammo, or well, same ammo type, sorry. More damage, higher critical, zero chance, to better range, better rounds, so pretty much better all over. Oh, well, I didn't realise I could do that. So I'm going to, ooh, I can... I think it is junk, I suppose, to sell it, but uh, we will equip that. It's actually better than what she uh, currently had. I'll make sure. Well, that's different shot modes. Everybody reloads. So, I just want to check my ammo supply. So, I'm running low on ammo already. Which isn't a good way, I mean some of these guys have a lot of ammo, as you can see here. She's got quite a bit, this one's got quite a bit, it's just me. And uh, Dead Eye, or Cold Eye, whatever it's called. No, not, uh, what's a Demolition, Cherry Bomb, sorry, I don't know. I think characters names me to, who hasn't got any ammo. Now this here, is a toaster. Toasters you get rare stuff for, but you can also mess it up. That's why I'm saving a lot, because if I mess it up, I can reload it. So I want to get the good stuff. You never know what you're going to get out of it. I don't think. I think it's random. And who's got the toaster skills? Toaster repair. Let's wait for that to fill up. Like I said, it can mess up. I've messed up on a couple of things before. And we get spray. I've got spray last time, I'm not sure what that does. So, let's have a quick look. Spray. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'll figure that out. See a load of money, but no good. It's got value there. So there we go. That's pretty much this area done. Because um, we leveled up, us two, we can actually call it in. A dead robot. So next time I go back to base, I can. Uh, fancy word for smart robots. She calls them synthetic life forms or synths. Basically, any robot that can think for itself falls into the synth category. Plain old robots are dangerous enough. Ones that think for themselves are a nightmare. So when we head back, let's add another one. We're going to head back. Let's have to do head back to go to the shop. Okay, them two are pretty close to each other. So this is coming to where I pretty much got up to. Roger, Echo One. Yeah, and we leveled up. That's everybody. If we called again. Copy, Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Go ahead. Over. Okay. Progress. Okay, so we all leveled up. We've all got skills. So here we go. Our lovely, lovely up screen. So we have three skills available depending on what we want to do. So because I'm worried about ammo, I'm thinking about some bits. But I don't think I've got any melee weapons anyway. So we can't have... Well, she's got one, but we can't do anything with her. She's like level well, level 14. There you go. That's what level she's on. That's why she's got all these lovely skills. In the top ones anyway. She ain't got any at the bottom. So she's got like kiss ass and bits and pieces. So if I used her to talk to them guys, things might have been different. But I wanted to kill them anyway. This is why it's good to get her. She's high level compared to us who are low, like level 2. Uh, private first class technical sergeant, so will private first class. Uh, uh -uh. Right, so we need to pick where we want them. So we can learn weapon smithing, so we can modify and destroy weapons. Um, as that mechanic, what we used anyway. And then we can pick some of these if we want some of these or whatever. I'm going to stick with. My sniper rifle, want that higher. Uh, so we'll go get some ammo, I suppose. Oh, yeah. There we go. And we'll commit. We'll leave the one point because I can't actually use it on anything. Okay. Cherry Bomb's got four points, so she's using shotgun and demolition. Um, let's say I'm going to put one on shotgun and one on demolition I think for now pills is our medic so hopefully we won't need field surgeon and we go pistols we'll just give her a new one bear has got quite a lot of stuff as you can see I'm mainly inter interested in that and outdoorsman we don't really need because she's got it so we say yes she's got level 2 already uh, it's another healer though, so we go. F I don't know what she got. Kiss us level three, so yeah, we'll go heal and we'll commit. And that's that. I'm gonna leave it here. So next time we're gonna head to one of the two locations, High Pool and wherever else, Av Center, one of them two. So I'm not sure what's there or which is the best order or what to do, but I'm assuming we'll find out when we get there. I don't know if it matters which one you go to first, because we've also got that up there. 
So I can do a go in there as well. We'll have to wait and see what happens when I actually leave here. Like I said, this is the first I got because last time I went straight up and got killed. And then myself just traveling around trying to get used to combat and bits and pieces. Uh, no worries. So like I said, I'll call it here. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you again soon. Right. Bye for now.